Getting your music on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, TikTok, and every other major streaming platform is actually a simple and inexpensive process. All you need is a distributor. But when it comes to deciding on a distributor to use, uh, you have a lot of options to choose from. And a major downside to some of the bigger and more popular distribution companies is that you often don't get as much attention and support as you would with a smaller boutique distributor. So if you're looking for a music distributor that prides themselves on providing excellent support and very fast response times, you might want to check out a company called Gyrostream. And in just a moment, I'm going to have Gyrostream CEO, Andy Irvine, share some of the benefits of choosing them as your distributor. What's up guys, Justin here. Now, I recently interviewed Gyrostream CEO, Andy Irvine, about the Gyrostream distribution platform. The full interview actually ran a little over an hour, but I've condensed it down to just the parts where Andy discusses the main features and benefits of using Gyrostream to distribute your music, and why he feels that Gyrostream is the best distributor for independent artists. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll let Andy tell you why you should consider using Gyrostream to distribute your music. Justin mentioned, my name's Andy. I'm the CEO of a company called Gyrostream. Gyro stands for Get Your Record Out, and we are a music distribution company and artist services company based in uh, Brisbane in Australia. And um, we started our company a couple of years ago, just uh, June 2018, which is a, a little bit later in the world than uh, you know some of the bigger distributors that some of you might be familiar with. Um, but the reason that we started our company was Basically, you know, the, the local market here in Australia um, was was lacking a true, you know, independent retail distribution company that was servicing artists and was supporting artists and educating independent artists on the best practices around streaming, uh, playlisting, and all the other kind of PR marketing services that were available around there. So, um, what we were really finding was that um, a lot of artists were struggling to get information that they needed to to make the right decisions and then when they actually had their stuff being delivered to services they weren't able to get the timely support that they needed to be able to take advantage of that because in today's streaming world it's really really crucial that when you've got a song that goes up you have to be on top of it straight away and if something goes wrong and you find yourself on the wrong artist profile or something like that um, you, you can't afford to be waiting one or two weeks for those things to get resolved um, because you kind of miss your opportunity when it comes to your playlisting and all that sort of stuff. So that's kind of the, the background as to why we felt like it was really important and, and really be customer focused and, and artist focused about what we do. So, um, you know, the, we, you know, there'll probably be plenty of questions later about, you know, what makes us different and, and how we separate ourselves from all the different distribution options out there in the world at the moment. Um, but really, you know, th there's a lot of them out there and um, there's there's a lot of them that are really great at data delivery and are getting your songs through their pipes and onto those services. But I think at the end of the day, you know, when for independent artists who really are trying to, to develop their careers and really, you know, it, it's very hard to do it on your own. So you need people around you and you need to surround people uh, around you that um, that kind of have your back and that can give you quick support, that can give you good advice. And whether you've got a manager or a PR person or a marketing person, you know, my belief is that distribution really fits into that as part of that team mentality. So, you know, you need to be able to work with people that, you know, can answer your emails quickly, that can give you the right advice, that can listen to your songs and give you some feedback if that's what you want. And so really that's um, that's what we're trying to do is to be able to offer that more kind of boutique service um, that's really, really crucial um, for, for independent artists and, um, and and really trying to make a difference in that regard. So that's kind of, you know, where the, the ethos that behind what we do, I suppose you would say. I, I know you guys also have a feature that uh, a lot of independent artists might be uh, really interested in, the Gyro Advance, where uh, you guys sometimes offer um, advances up to six months, I think, and royalties ahead of time. Yeah, so I mean, part of what we did, so you know, we, we built the platform around the distribution stuff, which was really important to make sure that, you know, we're doing all those things about hitting release dates, being flexible with artists, and also then making sure they're getting paid. And I can talk a little bit about that as well. Um, 
But when it comes to you know all the other stuff that we do, it was really trying to build out other services around the core distribution. You know, and as you know, some distributors are very good at, like I said, just the data delivery and the distress side of it. But for us, it was all about what other things can we do to help artists to make sure that they can stay independent, they can retain their creative independence and the creative control of what they do, but they still have access to things that can kind of help them on their way to sort of developing their career. Um, so one of those things was the the gyro advance service that we do, which is a, a, pre, a royalty prepayment service. So it the way that that works is that if you're doing okay in streaming already and you've got some income from streaming and you need to, um, you know, you need some sort of cash injection, as it were, to, to be able to take your career to the next level. Um, some of the other stuff that we do is, so we have a, an in-house PR and marketing team. So we do um, we do digital marketing, which is a, a global service. So that's all through your social media channels um, and um, sort of doing pre-release campaigns, post-release campaigns, fan finder style campaigns and stuff like that where, um, you know, it's a sort of an inexpensive way to kind of run your marketing through and try and develop those fans through your social channels and then using some of those techniques to then get them onto the streaming channels because ultimately you want your fans to be on the streaming platform, streaming your music and generating an income. So the key with all of this stuff is, you know, getting your fans from one platform onto the commercial kind of streaming and, and download platforms where you can actually make some, some money out of your music. So. Um, so that's a really important service. We, we do the, the traditional PR sort of stuff as well and have that service. Um, that's a little bit more localised to here in Australia and New Zealand, um, but we do have networks through um, sort of Europe and the US as well that we can tap into for, for the traditional PR. Um, and then we have our, our, our playlist pitching service that um, where we we review the tracks that are coming through. We have a submission form. It's not it's not open to everyone. Obviously, there's things that we need to curate with that stuff as well. Um, and but we um, we have a pitching service where we pitch straight to our partners. We've got um, the music dashboard here. So again, just keeping things really simple and for artists to understand how everything works. So um, down on the right here, we've got our artist services. So um, taking you through some of this stuff, <laughs> we have a sync and licensing service so that if artists want to opt into that, their music goes into a specific database of tracks um, that then we have sync partners who access that database. So they might be looking for a specific song to fit a, an advertising brief or a song for a movie or a song for um, an online ad or something like that. And so that they tap into our database, they search for the sorts of things that um, they might be looking for. And if they like your song, then they come back to us and they say they want to use it. And then you can make some money out of sync and licensing. So that's an add on service that we've got um, that you can opt into during the upload process for your music. Um, we do things like mastering, um, which is actual proper mastering done by a real person, but it's all done using digital tools. So the price is usually about half of what you would pay for a big mastering studio. Um, if you need help with graphic design, we do that. Um, we can deliver music to Apple, uh, videos to Apple Music, for example. Um, we have a couple of kind of Australia centric services here as well with regards to um, grant writing and stuff. But we also can register um, neighbouring rights as well, which is really important. So, you know, we can register with Sound Exchange and PPL in the UK. We can register with PPCA here in Australia, which is, um, which is you know, similar to some of the um, publishing admin stuff that you might find with other services, but it doesn't involve the the performing rights aspect of it. It's just the copyright um, side. If it's, it's probably a bit too compl complicated to go into kind of copyright here on the call today, but it's if stuff for, of yours is being played on the international radio or getting um, non-interactive streaming throughout the world, then there's some money that can be paid back to you for the copyright of your songs. Um, and that's a service that we do as well. Um, we've talked a little bit about the gyro advanced stuff. So this is where you can apply for that. Um, you apply for it and we review the submission and we get access to your data and we check it out and then we can decide 
whether or not we're able to um, advance some money for you. Um, we do vinyl and vinyl and CD manufacturers. So CD manufacturers uh, is a local service, but vinyl we do offshore, so that's a global service. So um, you know, it, it's there's not too many digital distribution companies that also can manufacture vinyl for you. Um, but we we have that service, so that's part of my background as in from the major label days is is doing not just digital but physical stuff. So I'm well connected in that space as well. Um, and then as we were talking about before, our, our playlist pitching service and application form um, and, our, and our PR and digital marketing application forms as well um, for artists. Uh, and then the top section here is all of our distribution modules. So from our create new release, we have a very simple three, three step uploading process um, <laughs> where it's um, obviously, you know, if you've ever uploaded your music for, for distribution, you kind of would have a, a go through a similar process, but certainly it's done to, to make sure that it's as simple as possible. You can actually select all the stores that you want to you want to distribute to. So there's flexibility there and there's also flexibility to select certain countries as well. So, um, for example, if um, I had a North American deal, and a label deal and they were distributing my music in North America, I could use Gyrostream just to distribute for the rest of the world and I could deselect North America um, from my territorial rights. So there's a, a lot of flexibility there for depending on sort of what your what your label arrangements are around the world. Um, catalog page, very simple catalog setup so you can ac access all your music here. Um, this is just a sort of a dummy account that we've got. So you can access your UPC codes, your ISRC codes, all the information about your release. And the real, really neat thing is you've actually got access to your audio files. So they're stored here for, so if you ever need to access your files or your computer hard drive crashes or whatever happens that you can come in and you can download your, um, your WAV file straight from the system. You've got access to your ISRC codes uh, and, and like I said, all the other information around around the release um, and then we and you can access your artwork and stuff from here as well and as you were saying sales and payment stuff as well which is really great so they don't have a lot of money in this account unfortunately at the moment but um, so you know you can look at your, your all-time streams you can look at your available balance if you're a US artist you'll have a US flag here and you'll see what how much you actually owed in US dollars um, I can look at the amount of each of the tracks in my account and how much they've earned out of streaming only. I can look at my account and see how much they've earned from downloads. I can see how much they've earned from each of the various stores around the world. Um, and then if I really want to get crazy, I can download a full CSV report and do my own analysis and so forth from that. And if I make a withdrawal, like I said, straight into my bank account in my local currency within about 24 hours, um, and it gets added to my history page there. Um, so, you know, it's really trying to make the system as as simple as possible. Yeah, a couple of people have asked questions about your, uh, whether you charge a flat fee or if you take a percentage or how that works. Yeah, so it's, it's um, I mean, obviously all distributors out there have slightly different pricing models and then lots of, you know, potentially lots of different add-ons and extra ch upsells and other charges and stuff like that. Um, for our service, we do a, it's it's in Australian dollars, it's $9.99 Australian, which is about $7 USD uh, at the moment, the current exchange um, per release um, annually, uh, plus an 8% commission. So I guess, that, I mean, the closest it probably comes to is around like a CD Baby style model, um, but we have a, it's a flat rate of that $7 US or $9.99 Australian, regardless of the format. So you could be, it can be a single EP album. Um, we have a, a 25 track limit on our albums. So, you know, you, you, a whole album only costs you $7 or $9.99 Australian per year plus that 8%. So, and then, you know, we're not charging to deliver to extra services. We're not charging, you know, if we add a new service on, we don't charge for that. Um, we don't charge to deliver tracks to, to other services and, and you know, all those kind of things you might see with other, other services in terms of add-ons and so forth. Um, we, we don't have that. Um, it's all kind of all-inclusive. The only thing that's added on 
is the sync and sync stuff. All right, if you're looking for a company to distribute your music for the first time, or you're interested in changing distributors, I hope you found this video helpful. Just to quickly recap some of the things that set GyroStream apart from some of the more popular distribution services out there are one, one of the main things is that they're independently owned, so they aren't owned by major labels or investment banks, and because they're a smaller independently owned company, they're able to place a large focus on customer service, and they're able to respond quickly if you have any issues or problems that you need help with. Now, they also have a lower upfront fee than many of their competitors, though there is a commission involved, so that's something to be aware of. Now, I'll post a link to their pricing table in the video description so you can check that out for yourself. Some other services they offer are playlist pitching, digital marketing, and PR services for independent artists. However, those services aren't for everyone. You do need to submit your music to be able to apply for that. Now, GyroStream transfers payments directly to your bank account, so that eliminates transaction fees and conversion fees that you would have to pay with a lot of other distributors, especially ones that use PayPal to send you payments. And they also have a program called Gyro Advance that allows you to apply for an advance on future royalties in case you need some cash now to help you fund your growth. But again, I would say the main thing that distinguishes GyroStream from a lot of their bigger competitors is their attention to customer service and quick response time. So if you're looking for a distributor that will respond to support issues quickly and help by offering advice related to your release strategy, you may wanna check out GyroStream at gyrostream.com. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one here on this channel, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section below. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button now, it's free to do, and tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released on the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.